Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tea Time. Today we are going to do another Easter craft. And this one does not have anything to do with those plastic eggs. Even though I do have one more craft I want to do with those. I thought I'd break it up a little bit. Um, today was the first time I'd actually taken my Easter decorations out of the basement. And here it is. What is today? April 2nd or I don't even know what it is. Um, but I've got to get going on this or there's no sense in even decorating for Easter because I know it's in like a week or so. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a jelly bean tree. And I've seen this idea on Pinterest where I get all my ideas. And basically, you know, you're going to need some sticks from your yard and some kind of a container to put them in. Now this container is uh, special. My sister has, she lives in Indiana, and she has an antique slash secondhand shop. And this is actually, what it is, is it's an old lunch bucket. Um, I don't know if it's an antique or not, but I know it's very old, and it, had, it has a lid that goes with it. But I've used it several times uh, for, come on, where'd my brain go? Centerpieces for my dining room table. So this is going to be part of that. Um, I'm going to put it on the dining room table. So you're going to need some sticks. Now these were brown sticks that I got out of my yard. But I just, for some reason, every time I looked at the, when I looked at them in the container, I thought, God, they're just so dark. Um, and so this is an optional step. I just took some, where's my paintbrush? I was going to show you. My paintbrush has seen this particular paintbrush has seen better days uh, but I went ahead and used this in some white paint to kind of dry brush these sticks it kind of gives them a look of being a birch isn't that the tree that's white I think it is so you're gonna need sticks and some kind of a container you're gonna need obviously jelly beans and uh, you're gonna need now this is optional as well this was not on the tree on Pinterest, but I, I took some small flower uh, buds from my stash and I thought I would add some flower buds uh, just to dress it up a little bit. And then on this particular container, I'm going to put um, some burlap ribbon around it and put a bow on it. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to get that ready. You're going to need a glue gun. And when, I'm all, when it's all said done, I'm going to take some Spanish moss and I'm going to kind of fill in here where it looks empty and bare, you know, just to kind of make it look full. So if you want to do that, you're going to need some Spanish moss. Okay, glue gun. Did I say you're going to need a glue gun? You're going to need a glue gun. All right, so basically, I mean, it's simple. You're just going to put some glue, and I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's better to put the glue on the jelly bean or on the stick. So we're going to find out together. Just going to put a glob on there and then hold it. Okay. You know, uh, before Derek went to work today, he came in here and he stole a black jelly bean out of the bowl. And I told him, I said, you are more than welcome to all the black jelly beans. I just wanted to use, you know, bright colors. So he did. He took all the black jelly beans. It's an acquired taste. You can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me do every single jelly bean. But I just thought, you know, give you an idea of how I'm... And this seems to be working to put the glue on the jelly bean. And then, you know... You're just going to sporadically place them around on the sticks. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the flowers too. The flowers, I'm going to try to get those to go, you know, like in the crooks of the sticks. You see that at all? I'm going to try it again. I don't know what to do about my filming. I feel like you don't get a good look at stuff. I don't know what to do about that, honestly. Um, 
You see that? Yeah, you can see that. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and randomly put the jelly beans on here and the um, and the flowers. So hold on, and when I get farther along, I'll come back and show you. I'm not sure how well you can actually see this. Um, I tried to put it somewhere where you'd get where you'd get a good look at it. I don't know if that gives it a better look or not. But anyway, um, it's done, except now I've got to put the ribbon on it. So I'm going to get out of the camera for a minute. And try to put some glue on this ribbon. It's burlap ribbon. It's wired. It's from the Dollar Tree. And you know what? I'm out! This is the last roll I have. Now, I haven't gone shopping for any more. You know, because you're not supposed to be just going shopping. You're supposed to stay home. So, I mean, that's what I've been doing. Um, let me see if I can. Now, I know that I cut this too short. So that's not a surprise. Put this down a little bit. But it's okay because guess what? The bow is going to cover it. So again, I'm stepping out of frame because I have to go over here where the glue gun is. And I'm going to put some glue a lot of glue on this on this bow. Okay. And then I'm going to press it right on the front. And then, which I should have done this first, but I forgot. So I'm gonna put this Spanish moss in here. This is always a mess, I'm telling you. This is a messy, messy um, substance to, to have to handle. I mean, you might as well just forget it. You're going to have to get the dust buster out. There's no two ways about it. Okay, I wanted to spend eight hours vacuuming. It's fine. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave this here for now. And when I'm ready to do the centerpiece for my table, I'll bring you with me and we'll do it together, um, which should be in the next few days, maybe over the weekend. So if you like this craft, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. You know what else you could use? I, got, I started thinking about that when I was gluing these jelly beans on there. You could use, um, you know, those little speckled eggs, those uh, malted milk eggs. Wouldn't those be cute? Or, you know, any other kind of jelly bean, I guess. I just got a bag at the Dollar Tree that were, I think they were Brock's. Just your traditional jelly beans. So, anywho, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel and join in all the crafting fun, just hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. 
it, you know, I like to read your guys' comments and ideas and, and what are you doing? Are you, are you decorating for Easter? You know, what kinds of crafts are you guys doing? Uh, I love that kind of stuff. So yeah, keep in contact. I, I have very little contact with the outside world, honestly. Um, have a great day, and I will see you probably this weekend. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I bumped the camera. I'm so professional.